This evening is based on my book, They Came Before Columbus, African Presence in Ancient America. A great deal of research has been done. One has become aware of far more things that have emerged from excavations that help to confirm with almost an absoluteness what we have advanced in the past, that there were Africans in America before Columbus. They came to America not as slaves but as masters. I am not the first to suggest there were Africans in America before Columbus, nor is anyone in the modern period. Columbus is the first man to suggest it. In his diaries, and there is a marvelous book, a huge book, a trilogy in fact, published in 1904 by John Boyd Thatcher, three volumes, it covers more than 1,200 pages, which deals with all the diaries and voyages and journals of Columbus, in which he points out that on his second voyage, Native Americans of Haiti, which was then known as Española, came to him and told him that black people had come in large boats from the south and the southeast, trading with the Americans in gold-tipped metal spears. Columbus did not believe this, perhaps, but he did a very cautious thing, which is very important to us, in that he sent samples of these metal spears back to Spain. And they were assayed, they were examined by the Spanish metallurgists, and they ruled that these spears had the same ratio of gold, silver, and copper alloys as spears then being forged in African Guinea. Furthermore, the Portuguese told Columbus when he returned from his first voyage, the Portuguese told Columbus that they were aware of Africans leaving from the Cape Verde Islands and going far to the west with merchandise in large boats. There are two things to bear in mind here. First of all, the Portuguese was awake, were aware of African navigation because the Portuguese had been in Africa since around 1450, they in fact had clashed with the Gambian Navy. The Portuguese also were aware of a landmass to the south as a result of African movements, which will come up later in my talk. And furthermore, Columbus had married a Portuguese woman. He had been to Africa in 1484 at the Portuguese port at San Jorge de Mena. His brother Bartholomew had married a Portuguese. They were both aware of the Portuguese court, and in fact, they had been trying to get the Portuguese to finance their journey across the Western Ocean before he went to the Spanish courts. Not only do we have, therefore, the documents of the Portuguese and that of Columbus himself, and oral tradition of the Native Americans, and the fact that the Spanish met metallurgists had ruled on this and shown that it was African, but furthermore, they have found a cotton in the Cape Verde Islands a cotton, Gossipium hirsutum var punctatum, which they thought was African because it was just off Africa and it had been taken by the Portuguese as they settled in the Cape Verde and planted before Columbus in the Cape Verde Islands. When it was examined, the cytogenics of the cotton showed that it was not African, it was some cotton grown in the Caribbean and South America, which means cotton which had been grown in the Caribbean and South America had got into Africa before Columbus How? Not only that, botanical evidence, but the navigational evidence shows, <coughs> the oceanographic survey of the ocean shows that just off the Cape Verde there is a current that takes you to South America. There are three major currents off Africa, about 100 miles off the African coast, that take you automatically to America. Once you are caught in those currents, whether you plan it or not, you have to get to America unless the fish get you first. Anything that remains afloat is pushed towards America. Off the Cape